Hi there, Jennifer Colson here with another amazing story from the Swallowtail Kite Tracking Project. The Tracking of the Bell River Female is a collaboration involving the Orleans Audubon Society, the Barataria Terrebonne National Estuary Program, and the Avian Research and Conservation Institute. We captured the Bell River female last July in the swamps just west of Bell River, and here John Nelson is releasing her after I outfitted her with a GSM GPS transmitter. On June 26, three of us did a boat survey leaving out of the Bell River boat launch to check on kite nests that we had found and determine their outcomes. Some of the nests unfortunately had failed, probably due to storms that had passed through in May. In 2024, the Bell River female nested deeper in the swamp, about six and a half miles from where she had nested in 2023. The sky was clouding up, so I asked Zach Miller if he thought we could still make it to check her nest. Zach smiled from ear to ear and he said, oh, I think I know a cut through the woods. <laughs> he knows these swamps like the back of his hand. In about 30 minutes, we were slowing down to look for the tagged kite. As soon as we pulled up, we could see the Bell River kite flying over the forest. She swooped on a red-shouldered hawk that flew by and succeeded in driving it away from her territory. Bell River's nest was in a tight spot in the swamp, but fortunately, Zach was able to get us there. As we moved among the cypress trees, Bell and five other adults did swoop chase dives displaying right over us. We soon found what the adults were celebrating about. It was Bell River's fledgling. First, we heard it begging, and we followed the sounds to locate it and found it perched in a tree right next to Bell's nest tree. It's a very healthy looking fledgling. When it started to drizzle, Belle flew in to perch on a snag near her fledgling, and you can just see her antenna from her transmitter in this picture. Isn't she beautiful? Now let's take a look at the Bell River female's recent tracks. After we left her, she stayed pretty close to home attending her fledgling for about another three weeks. Then on July 20th, she ventured into the Barataria Terrebonne Basin proper, and we can see her visiting some known kite areas such as the Baisagur area here, and some other areas near White Castle, et cetera. Then she did something pretty unexpected on July 22nd based on her previous track from 2023. She headed north and she went pretty far north. Let's see, at one o'clock, we see her checking in on the Homochitta River here, a place where, that I've surveyed, um, had some kite nests around this area. And then at five o'clock on the same day, we see her visiting Vicksburg. And I mean, it looks like she's pretty much in town there checking in. And then on the next day, we can see that she checked in on the Big Black River. This is a river that I've done surveys on and, and found a few kites on in the past. And then since July 25th, she has been about two miles south of Silver City, Mississippi, in Humphreys County. And she set up a hunting area that is along the Will M. Whittington Auxiliary Channel that's off of the Yazoo River. If we zoom in here, we can see that she's mostly hunting in big grassy fields, which are perfect for hunting flying insects. And that would allow her to fatten up before the long migration to the wintering grounds. Who knows whether her fledgling is with her or not. Uh, Bell's current location is 235 miles north of where she nested. You go, girl. <laughs>